Hey everyone, Aria Labs here with the blog you watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a review of the Schomburg Watch Bullfrog. Schomburg is a German company and they came out several years ago and they had some pretty impressive stuff Then they were quiet for a while. Um, but I think they continue to release new stuff and this is the Bullfrog. And the Bullfrog is an interesting watch. There's a lot to like about it. It's, it's very German in the sense that it's a very niche appeal watch in the sense that there's a lot of cool features, but um, it's hard, it's difficult to understand exactly who it's for. The Swiss, for example, have like a very clear consumer in mind. And I think the Germans come out with interesting stuff and they're like not really sure. Um, the case is nice. It's 42 millimeters wide in titanium. It's got this great sandblasted look and it's called the bullfrog because if you look at it from the side, it's actually not completely uniform. They, they say it has a bullfrog stance where the dial is slightly angled towards you so that it may, it's made to be a little bit easier to read. So you don't have to turn your wrist as much. Um, again, interesting feature, not really sure who that's meant to uh, to satisfy, like who's been saying, you know, I need my watch to be a, you know, a, a millimeter angled up, but it's cool. The, ca the case is nice. It feels nicely done. It's very light. It's um, water resistant to uh, 200 meters. Um, it's cool. It, it is cool. Um, the dial is a little bit nondescript, but it's very legible. Sapphire crystal, of course, um, very easy to read. Um, you, I like that it's symmetrical and you have the date right there at six o'clock. Um, I'm told that there is a, uh, a GMT version as well as a chronograph. Um, I haven't seen those. The strap is actually really nice. Um, it's leather and they call it, I think they call it vintage leather. It's kind of a grayish brown tone, which mixes very nicely there with um, the case itself. Um, and it's very soft as well, which I like. You have this nice kind of angular buckle. Um, on the wrist, it's, it's handsome, again. Um, and when you wear it, you actually do notice the fact that, that, the, that the case is slightly angled upwards. If you turn to the side, uh, you can't really tell, a little bit. Um, but it's, it's, it's minor. I wouldn't call it exaggerated. So it's like, honestly, you could probably wear this watch for like a year and not even notice that it was angled upwards. Like if you didn't, if you didn't know to begin with, because it's, it's slight. Um, again, the dial is, is legible. I would have liked for there to be a slightly different 12 o'clock hour indicator that tends to ground the watch for me, makes it a little bit more easy to sort of, um, orientate myself of what time I'm reading. Um, some watches do that, some watches don't. It's actually not that big of a deal. I just happen to, you know, I would have liked the 12 o'clock indicator maybe be a little bit bigger or a different color or a different design or something like that. Um, hands are more or less the, the a good size, so legibility is good. There's loom. It's, it's overall nice. It's very three-dimensional. You can see that the, the hour indicators are, are definitely applied and raised up. And these lugs are, are interesting. They're kind of a mixture of modern and traditional there. So um, it's an interesting watch. Um, of course, it has a niche appeal. Um, it's hard. It's just hard to say who this watch is good for. I think you're going to see it and you're going to say, hey, that's definitely right for me or uh, it's interesting, but I'm not really sure who it's good for. So again, this is the Schomburg Bullfrog. Um, oh, inside is a Swiss Salida SW200 automatic movement, which is basically a clone of the uh, ETA 2824. Um, and the price for this specific version, it's not too bad. It's $1,610. And you can see the full review on the blog to watch. Thanks.